David, how big a win is that today after the defeat midweek? Massive. You know, it's massive. We, we, we bounced back in the right way. Um, and I thought we'd done that today. I think for large spells of the game, you know, we controlled it with decent possession. We got into really good areas with loads of opportunities. Um, we should have had more goals. Um, but, you know, the, the way we played and we went, we went about our business today was, you know, was a different a different animal compared to where we were last week. You uh, yourself and Lee made a, a tactical change today. We noticed that you went two out and out strikers. To what extent do you think that played a part in the, the result? Yeah, we, we went to see Clyde on uh, Thursday night and we knew we had to put more pressure on running about the centre backs. Um, obviously, we've been playing three up recently um, with the two wingers, but you know we, we realised it was space running about the centre backs and down the side of the full back, so um, that's why we we done it. And to be fair, you know Connor Salmon I thought was outstanding today. Um, different animal in terms of what we've seen recently and the way he went about his business you know with Harry he made the opportunities um, you know he was unlucky not to get a goal you know Mitch makes a, a great save for, for the one he's through near the end but you know that's what we need we need everybody at it and that's that's where we're at today um, the way the game goes I think the changes kind of unsettle us absolutely and it, and it brings Clyde back into it um, and 2 0 is never a safe lead you know we've seen that that you know, they get one back and with the force changes, then it starts to disrupt us a wee bit. So, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's the three points and we, we move on. And that's the thing, that there's plenty of big games ahead and tonight, you know, at full time, the table is looking pretty packed between sort of second position and sixth or seventh. Yeah, that's fine and, you know, we, we've we just got to do our own. You know, we've said it all the way through, um, do our own games and, and let the other ones cut ourselves up if that's what we want to do. Um, but, you know, as I said, it was a massive three points bouncing back for the every result. It's been a, a long time coming back from injury for Aidan Keena. Uh, how pleased are you to see him on the score sheet today? Yeah, it's, it's been hard for him because, you know, recently, you know, he's been up there. Um, he's been through in the middle himself with, a, with the two wingers either side him, but, you know, he's had minimal opportunities as well. Um, and I thought it was better today because, obviously, he had Samuel beside him, but at the same time, he looked more like himself, you know, looked like trying to get to go, and um, it was unfortunate not to get another one that came off the bar. As a defender yourself, how happy were you with the defensive performance today? Because apart from the, the one goal, I thought it was a fairly comfortable defensive performance. Yeah, I think, you know, I think we we done really well. I thought we, we dealt with the threat a good volley extremely well. I thought Ben Holland, Vinny, uh, Mark Dunn, sorry, were, were brilliant, you know, and, and, and up until that point when Ben has to go off, you know, but I don't think they had many opportunities. Um, but young Kyle that comes on, you know, he does well, you know, he stood up to the challenge and, and then obviously the first uh, change with, with Dicker as well. Um, you and Vene has to come in but you know I, I, as I say I th- throughout the game it was a base that we could work from um, and, and it was a lot better Usually creative players and strikers always get the headlines but uh, just to take a moment to say Robbie much that save in the 93rd minute proved uh, proved vital Yeah absolutely that is and you know he's done that time and time again you know in games where he's not been involved too much um, and then he's got to produce a save like that so absolutely that could have you know, that's definitely got us the three points there as well on top of the, the performance for the other boys. Uh, I know it's early days and you may not genuinely know the answer to this one, but what can you tell us about Ben Hall and Paul Dixon? Ben in particular, that, that looked quite a nasty one. Yeah, uh, I think he's just he's rocked his ankle, you know, as he's fell. Um, but we'll need to assess it over the next kind of 24 hours, um, see how bad the swelling is or, or kind of where it goes. And same with him and, and Paul Dixon as well. So we'll just see over the next kind of 24 hours. And, uh, and just finally, of course, it's uh, first versus second uh, in our next fixture against Cove. What's your thoughts on that one? Well, looking forward to it. You know, the, uh, it's, it's going to be a great game. Um, you know, we know the, the way they play, and you know, we need to take the game to them. Um, you know, we need to assess the way they play and, and work on that during the week, um, and take obviously the, the performance and the things we've done today, and take that into the game next week.